In this video guys I'm going to show you how to zoom and pan and basically what this does is it makes it easy for people to see you know if you're doing a tutorial it makes it easier for people to see what's going on so you can zoom in on parts of the screen when you're talking and zoom out again you know so it's it, you know it just keeps things moving I think in video it's important to keep things moving and and keep it interesting because it's almost like doing a head-on headshot video people get bored very easily so if you're doing a long tutorial it's a good idea to just keep the screen moving by doing zooming in when you're talking about different parts but not continually but just in the important parts that you want people to focus on so in this video I'm going to show you how to um, do that so I'm going to take you to the point in this video done by um, our own HPE Anastasia Day she's a, a social media expert um, she's created this Pinterest tutorial so I'm going to show you an example of um, somewhere where we'd want to zoom in if I go through the video and you know it's, it's, it's easy to follow because you can just follow where the mouse is and I'm going to show you why okay if we stop here because I can see her mouse is clicking over here somewhere okay and then as you can see here we've got these little kind of dots here okay and we can move this so as Anastasia is talking about this here we can just take the corners in okay and move it down to what she's talking about right okay so we can move the um how to do that so we're we're just not okay she's finished talking so if we go out again we want to make it the exact same size as it was okay the screen okay so there we go we can move it down like so okay and as we can see we're in this, this shot again right so it zooms out again so I'm going to take it back and show you what happened there um, how to do that so we're just going to interest first there you go so you saw it zoom in and out okay so um, that's a great way guys to, to to go in and out of your content and to let people kind of zoom in on what's important okay and it's a great way to use um, it for tutorials because uh, like I said it's important to keep things moving and keep you know stop people from getting bored because people do have a short attention span especially when it comes to long um, video tutorials. So guys, I'll see you on the next video where I'll discuss um, audio and captions.